crazy ninja attack. Hey everybody, it's Jay Lantis here and welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you guys how to restyle Michelle Mermaid from this to this so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end before we get busy i want to give a fabulous shout out to the new princess amino app forever after high which is one of amino's many community apps and created just for the eh fandom so the front page features the most popular posts and the sidebar shows you the various topics that you can explore as a collector i love the merchandise section and i think you guys will love the ships and the fanfics you can also join group chat so don't be shy just say hi and make some new friends the front page is great to find cool people and look, I ran into a friend. Show some love by commenting on their post or on their profiles. So finally, I want to show off my page and some of my posts. You can set your favorites, make polls, and also blog posts to showcase your works. So I really recommend that you guys join the app so you could do all these yourselves and once you've created your profiles, make sure you follow me at Jalentis Toys. This shoutout is made in partnership with Amino, so thank you so much Amino for this opportunity. Now, let's get styling! In this video, we'll be focusing on her hair, and in part 2, we'll go into detail on repainting her accessories. And also, this restyle is inspired by her artwork, and I will be doing a second version inspired by the webisode look, so reroute! Like always, let's start out by giving her a nice brush through before we wash her hair, so misting always help as usual. And I'm also going to be untying the rubber band so we can tie it back nicely later. So the next step is boy washing her hair, so if you want to know how that's done, you can click on the annotation to go check it out first. We're back, so as you can see, I have already pierced her ears while washing her hair, so if you want to know how to do that, you can click on this video to go check it out. Now we can start parting her hair. So the first thing I did is I took a strand from the foremost part of her head and just pulled it back slightly and just sitting semi-middle there. And before we continue, we can put her headband back on. And now for the right side of her face, we're going to be parting this uh, dark purple streak from her hairline. The same goes to the other side as well, just the same uh, dark purple streaks from the same area of the hairline. And this upper layer is going to be the bang, so pull the dark purple streaks under the bangs and not over it. Now we're going to twist both parted streaks and tie it at the back. Once you're done, we can start curling the hair. So for her bangs, I'm going to be using this large straw so we could give her a nice loose wave effect. And you can either curl it inwards or outwards. If you want to give her a windswept look, you can curl it outwards like this. But I'm going to be curling it inwards so I can give her a nice loopy bang. So just basically wrap the hair around the straw, keeping it as flat and as neat as you can as you go. And then you take a straw that is cut in the middle and cover the hair. So it helps you keep the hair from getting in direct contact with the pins and saves you the trouble from dealing with nasty rust stains. She looks like an extreme geisha ninja right there. <laughs> now moving on to the back, so I always like to start out by splitting the hair into two layers. And for the rest of her hair, I'm just going to be using these normal sized straws. Spray. Wrap. Protection cover. Cut extras, secure with bobby pins. Now repeat the process and complete her entire head. So finally, all the curlers are completely set in her hair, so now it is time for the boil perm process. So it is the same as boil washing, you dip her hair in hot water to permanently set the curls. And if you want to know how that's done, you can click on the annotation to go check it out first. Alrighty, so we're back after letting her hair air dry for overnight, so right now it is time to remove the curler. So basically slide out your pins, slide out your protective cover, and then slide out the straw from the curl itself. Don't try to unwrap it or brush it out, just slide them out slowly. Once you've removed all the curlers, it's time to separate out these big chunks into smaller natural looking ringlets. So use the end of your rat's tail comb to pick a point in the middle of the curl. Once you've gotten that, just use your fingers to unwrap these two pieces from each other. Don't try to brush it out or it can get really frizzy. 
and then I like to put a little bit of the curls rock amplifier gel on my fingers and just run it through the curls gently what it does is that it helps you keep the shape of the curl and helps you maintain the flyaway and the phrase uh, you get really nice looking curls looking good now for the finale so I left the bang the last because it is the most important part of her so remove the straw and then I'm gonna separate it into two pieces again and like usual run it through with your curls rock gel and now for some final touches so I like to comb near her roots the scalp area so that they blend in with each other naturally and use the cream again for places that needs a little bit of touching up and now she's ready for her close-up and ta-da so here is Michelle with her completed look so I am really really happy with how everything turned out she's definitely one of my favorites that I have ever restyled bar none period so this is a close-up look of her details so again I'll be focusing on the repaint accessories in my next video so stay tuned for that as well so right now I'm just giving you guys a 360 look of her curls on the back so this is the magic of the curls rock amplifier cream because it keeps the shape of the curls at the same time it helps you keep that natural movement and the bounciness of the curls which uh, the hairspray cannot give because the hairspray instantly turns it rock solid so Thank you, Denisa. So I guess that wraps up my tutorial on how to restyle Michelle Mermaid's hair. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and love the results as much as I do. And if you're following this tutorial, make sure you let me know how it turned out by tagging me a picture of your finished projects on my Instagram at Daylentis Toys and I will check them out. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to thumbs up and subscribe because two more videos of Michelle restyles are coming and you do not want to miss that. But right now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!